Okay, let's give you guys another example. So in this video, we're going to try and determine if this series will converge or if it will diverge. So uh, at the moment, you've got one block multiplying another block. So visualize this block as 1 over 2 to the power of n. This here gets multiplied to the top. So re reimagine this as as uh, as this. So uh, so the trick to doing this, uh, the, the trick to doing this is to realize that um, 2 to the power of n is to realize 2 to the power of n will be much 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 bigger than uh, than n to the power of 1000. In fact, 2 to the power of n would be much much bigger than n to the power of uh, 1002. Um, 2 to the power of n will be much 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 bigger than n to the power of any power of any power as n tends to infinity as n tends to infinity. So, so the trick to doing this is to realize that this thing here would be much, much, much bigger than, than this as you head towards infinity. The question is, how do you know that this would be much, much bigger than, than this? Well, the, uh, the way you realize that is to look at, look back at L'Hopital's rule. Um, if I were to give you this and ask you what happens as n tends to infinity of this, will it get bigger and bigger or, or will it converge to some, or will it converge to zero, say? Um, well, if, if it gets bigger and bigger, then that means this thing here will be much, much bigger than this. If, if it heads towards zero, then you know that this will be much, much bigger than this. Um, so, so, so back to L'Hopital's rule, um, you, you're, you're trying to determine what happens to this as n tends to infinity. So we've done this in the past. Um, you, well, as n tends to infinity, um, this thing here will be infinity. It will head towards infinity. This thing here will be infinity, so you've got infinity over infinity, which means you can apply L'Hopital's rule. So applying L'Hopital's rule, you would differentiate this, that will then give you this. Differentiate the denominator, that will then give you this. And then and then you would try it again, as n tends to infinity, this thing here will head towards infinity, this thing here will head towards infinity. You've got infinity over infinity, which means you can differentiate it again, you can apply L'Hopital's rule again. So applying L'Hopital's rule, differentiate this, that will then give you this. Differentiate this. That will then give you this. Notice that each time you differentiate this, um, this gets well, it gets decreased by one. Where, whereas the denominator, you still got this two to the two to the power of n. You've got a constant here, two to the power of n. Well, anyway, continue differentiating it one thousand times. Um, eventually, you will get to this. So, um, so, so eventually, you will get to some sort of constant to the power of n. Uh, sorry, constant times n, and then you, you're going to have um, some sort of constant, but then the 2 to the power of n will remain here. And then and then here, as n tends to infinity, this thing here, you still got infinity, and then this thing here, you got still got infinity. Infinity over infinity, you can apply L'Hopital's rule again. So differentiate this, that will then give you your constant. And then here you've got some, some constant um, to, well, some constant times 2 to the power of n. So now as n tends to infinity, you've got a constant, and this thing here gets bigger and bigger. Therefore, the limit is zero. The point here is that this, uh, the point here is that, the point here is that 2 to the power of n, uh, would be much, much bigger than, than any n to the power of whatever. So, uh, so 2 to the power of n is actually bigger, much, much bigger than n, uh, n to the power of, let's say, 2, 1002. So, so now, now we know that this is much, much bigger than this. Because, hang on, let's go back one step. We know that, um, this would be much, much bigger than this as n tends to infinity. Um, so that, that means, well, it, 2 to the power of n will be much, much bigger than n to the power of 1002. There's a reason why, why I chose 1002. You see why, hopefully, later on. Uh, so, so 2 to, 2 to the power of n, is much much bigger than than this thing here. So now, if if you have one over two to the power of n, then then, then that that means this one over this. Well, if if this is true, then this must be much much bigger than this. Okay. So so now, hang on. So so we know that this thing here is much much bigger than this thing here. So if you look back at this thing here, let's re well this thing here will be much 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 less than uh, than this thing here because because hang on let, let's let's just look at this bit here so now 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 we know that this thing here which is which is this thing here 
is much much bigger than uh, than than this than than this. So now now we can make this statement. We can actually say that this is much much bigger than this as n tends to infinity. So now um, uh, you see this is the reason why why I deliberately chose one thousand and two. So so if you tidy this up, if you tidy this up, then this will become this. And when you get to this stage here, you should know that this thing. You should be able to just look at this and say that this will converge. Um, you should know this by now. We've done this many times. So by the time you get to here, you know that this thing will convert, will will converge. This series will converge. Well, if this series is bigger than this, and this series converge, therefore this will have no choice but also to converge because this is bigger than this. So so here. Um, so not notice that we we chose um, 1002. You could choose 1003 or, or or anything higher. Then then you know it's going to converge. So um, yeah, I hope you understand that. So um, this will converge. Therefore, this will converge. Okay.